This short video will show you how ACD Labs NMR predictors can be used to plan your experiments and reduce instrument time. To watch the full webinar or to contact us, please follow the links listed below the video. So I'm going to load uh, trifluralin salt. So I have a, a chem sketch file. I'll load it here. And it's a salt. You got the NH plus here. And you have two different types of uh, nitrogens. Here you have an NL2 group, two NL2 groups, and an NH+. So before collecting an HMBC, which you can't spend a lot of time trying to figure out the spectral widths, you can do an NMR prediction first and use that to judge what the spectral widths should be so you don't get any foldback in your spectrum. So if I go to my calculate button here, and we want to select more 2D NMR spectra. And in here, we're going to select from the drop-down list the NH prediction for nitrogen and then we're going to select an NH long range experiment so we're going to predict for an HMBC here we'll click OK this will search our internal database and predict for proton and nitrogen NMR and here you'll see it says nitrogen proton here and we could see what the assignments are so that we expect that this NL2 group is around 372 ppm uh, the reference solvent in this case is ammonia and the, the salt, the NH+, plus, we expect around 79 ppm. So when setting up your spectral widths, we'll add a little bit more just in case there's any uh, error associated to these uh, shifts. And, it, and I do have an experimental data set for this, so we can load this. And you can see what it compares to. So the bottom now is the, um, I'm just going to adjust the wheel so you can get less T1 noise there. And you can see here, uh, this one is around uh, 70, 60 ppm, the NH plus salt. And this one, if I mouse over it, is around 370 ppm. So in using the calculated HMBC, we can determine our spectral widths prior to collecting the NMR. This saves us time and uh, reduces uh, time wasted on the instrument. 